What's up guys, today I want to talk about one plugin by Native Instruments called Complete Control. Now Native Instruments calls their keyboards control, but it's completely different from their standalone plugin for which you don't need any hardware. When I first got the Native Instruments Complete Ultimate bundle, it had tons of stuff, but I didn't want to install everything just because I didn't have enough space on my hard drive. So one of the plugins I didn't install was Complete Control. It was like seven gigabytes of space needed for it, and it wasn't really a standalone plugin with any sounds of its own. All it does is it gives you quick samples of all the other sounds in native instrument libraries. Now, after a few months of using native instrument plugins without complete control, I was switching between the plugins, trying to look for sounds and waiting as different sound libraries loaded in contact, and it just took so much time. So I bit the bullet and I installed the seven gigs of complete control and my native instruments life has changed. So today I'm gonna to go over four reasons why I think the Complete Control plugin is a must have, a, a must install if you have the Complete Native Instruments Complete Ultimate. Here we go. Reason number one, the obvious one, is auditioning sounds. I'm gonna use uh, an example of a song that I just put together. So I wanted to find a piano sound that was kind of um, toned down, kind of muffled, a little wide, but very dramatic. So I knew I had tons of piano sounds in the Native Instruments library and I wanted to audition them easily. So let's create a brand new track here. I'm gonna load Complete Control. And when you load it up, it's just blank here, and it gives you some options for looking for sounds over on the left side. And you can filter by the type of instrument, the mode. Now, I was looking for a piano sound, so I clicked on piano and keys. From here, you can choose if you want it to be a grand piano, an upright piano, a digital piano. Here's a really nice part about it. It's not just looking at the native instruments libraries, but it also is looking at other contact libraries that you may have installed. For example, I have a bunch of output instruments here, and all the sounds in those libraries that have metadata are going to be accessible from this left menu here too. So I'm, look, I'm looking for piano keys, grand piano, long release for example, uh, here is a big piano string. So there you can audition it by just clicking on it. Let's get rid of the grand piano thing here. So there are piano keys and you can just press down. See, that's kind of interesting, and that's probably not in one of the Native Instruments piano contact libraries. Let's see where it's actually coming from. So it's actually pulling up an output library that has this piano type of sound. So now I've got it loaded here, and actually I can start playing. Had I tried to look for this any other way, I'd have probably first started with a piano contact library of some sort. And it may have not led me to the output instrument rev because I traditionally don't think of rev as a piano instrument. Cotton basic. Now I should mention too, that you can use the search box here. So if you do know that uh, somewhere in there, there's a felt sound, I can actually type in felt and it brings all the felt sounds from all your native instruments and contact libraries. Now here's the second reason I think that Complete Control plugin is so awesome. It gives you access to the most important controls and knobs right up front. So this is a synth sound that I found using Complete Control, and you'll see that this is a smaller version of Prism. What it's actually doing is it's just bringing you the most important knobs up to the front. If you wanted to see all the other controls, you can hit the plus sign at the top, and now you get the whole thing. Let me show you a few other sounds that I found using complete controls. I also found the pad sound that I wanted. So I knew that I was looking for a synth pad. I selected basic pad and I auditioned a few sounds. And here's what that sounds like.
I was also looking for some chime sounds and I did the same thing. When I searched here, I searched for a chime and I found something while I was auditioning these sounds. And I landed on spectral bells and I really liked this sound, so I loaded it up. It happened to be an absence. So now you'll notice on this song, I found basically all the sounds by using complete control. Here's another reason why I find complete control really awesome. They've got this extra function up here with the little notes. If you turn on the scale mode, you can actually choose from chord sets. If you're looking for some inspiration, you need some chord progressions, or like me, you're just going back to the same old chord progressions that you always play on the keyboard, you can actually find some interesting chord progressions here. So this is a chord set, a bunch of different sets to choose from, and major two sounds like this when played. So I'm just playing one note, and you can actually hear a full chord played. Try a minor set. So there you go, instant inspiration. I mean, this thing is awesome. All right, so the fourth reason why I love the Native Instruments Complete Control is that it easily maps to your hardware. So even if you don't have the Native Instruments made control keyboards, you can map the controls from Complete Control to these hardware controllers. Remember those controls that it puts right up front? Well, those controls are mapped to the same positions on your device for everything that you audition. So every plugin that you may load through Complete Control has those exact same controls mapped to the same knobs on your hardware. I'll show you what that looks like on the Push 2. All right, so there you have it. That's why I love Complete Control. I totally think this is worth the seven gigabytes that it takes up on your computer, just because it's gonna help you work faster, find sounds that you typically don't find. You'll be able to control it with your hardware very easily, and it gives you some inspiration with chord sets. I love plugins that help you with the inspiration side of song creation. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Keep making the music that you love. I'll see you guys later.